Hello, everybody, and welcome to the highlights of an over 20 stage run on Monsoon with all of the artifacts on. I completed the almost two hour run yesterday on my stream, twitch.tv slash willygaming, by the way, and I thought I'd share the best parts here. If you're only here for the gameplay, I'll put up a timestamp now. However, before you go, note that the first few stages are integral to understanding the entire run, so I highly advise sticking around here for a couple minutes while I explain the strategy of Mayo. I'm using the first two stages as background footage here so that you can supplement the info I give with what I'm doing in the game. Basically, Mayo runs boil down to this. How fast can you get your first red item? Since you have all of the artifacts on, you're able to choose all of your loot thanks to the command artifact and along with the glass artifact, which gives you five times your usual damage, the obvious choice for a first red item is the ceremonial daggers. There are simply far too many threats on the stage to be able to deal with them all as you normally would, so you need to get to the point of killing one enemy and watching them all die as fast as humanly possible. The daggers allow you to reach this point literally as soon as you get them. The absolute fastest way to cascade your mayo runs into the second loop and beyond is to farm stage one until you have five green items. Remember the teleporter drops at least one more if you find some mountain shrines. Take a blue portal and trade in your greens no matter what into the red item in the cauldron. Because you have command you are able to choose whichever red comes out rather than getting what's in the cauldron. Also again because you only have 10 percent HP and no one shot protection due to the glass artifact, taking a couple stacks of shaped glass here is absolutely insane. The five times damage you get from the artifact is, along with all other sources of increased damage, separate, meaning picking up just one shaped glass scales your damage up to 10 times the usual amount. Two stacks is 20 times your overall damage for two stacks of an item. And this is where the ceremonial daggers shine. In normal runs, you need to have near capped crit chance and a plethora of on hit and on kill items before the daggers begin their stage-wide annihilation. But in Mayo, all the daggers need is one shaped glass. That's it. No other items necessary. At least, not for a long time. However, that being said, there are some essential items you need early on into the run to make the absolutely absurd first few stages doable. As you can see in the footage, the very first item I take is a topaz brooch and only a single stack. This is because that one brooch doubles your effective HP. And when you pair that with your next three or four white items, which are the repulsion arm, that combo makes you immune to everything except the hardest hitting things like beetle guard slams, titan pillars, and so on. Everything else will simply tickle your otherwise tiny HP pool. Speaking of HP, how in the heck are you supposed to play around only having 10% of your HP and not having one shot protection? Well, by not getting hit. The age old classic advice could simply not be any more relevant to Mayo runs. It's entirely true. If you get hit, you are dead. That's all there is to it. So it's best to go into the runs from the start with the mindset of I cannot get hit. Therefore, your priority after the small defensive setup are movement items. Your first two greens in order are the wax quail and the hopu feather. The quail is absolutely vital to your early survival as this momentum is the only thing saving you from seven golem beams trained on you simultaneously, getting stuck in a corner with five of the lesser whips due to soul artifact, dodging an entire screen full of exploding bouncy balls from spite, etc. Some survivors have that innate momentum, like Huntress and Mercenary, but for the others, like Multi, Artificer, and Engineer, the Quail is your lifeline. The Hopu Feather isn't as important as the Quail, but it's definitely still important to get the extra verticality as fast as possible. And for common items, I go for about six stacks of goat hooves, no matter what. The reason why I take hooves over energy drinks is because you will always get the hooves momentum compared to only getting the energy drinks while spawning. Printing. You have no idea which survivor you're getting on a given stage, so taking the hooves for their higher consistency is the smarter choice. I'll wrap things up here and let you see the gameplay as I'm not trying to make this a super in-depth mayo guide. If you want a video like that though, I can definitely make one. Let me know in the comments below. Again, the footage is taken off of my stream at twitch.tv slash woollygaming, so consider following me there if you like the gameplay. Enjoy the highlights. That is why you check this day. I'm going to play it ultra safe and get another uh, wax ball. Because I'm probably going to lose one or two wax balls here, so it's good to... I want to stay around three. For most of the run, I want to stay around three wax balls. Not intentional. Oh my word. Four items. Four items. See, that's exactly why I took another coil right there. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh, boys. One. A two. A three. And not a four. We need a business. Ooh, is it going to be spicy, boys? Triple shaped glass. Holy moly. Secret about it that gives you no fall damage. Why do you take visions? Because it's better on every survivor. It's better on three out of nine of the survivors, and it's good on the rest of them. So it's definitely worth taking. Like, it makes mercenary, accurate, and loaders so much more viable. Because otherwise, you have to rely on their, their basic attack. They're, you don't have to rely on it, but you
but you only have a melee attack. So it actually helps a lot. All right, one more Ignis here, boys. We got our free red. We're going to Dio's best friend, obviously. No choice. You need that safety net. When you're playing with 11 max HP, you need that safety net of a Dio's. All right, here we go. Bing. Oh my word, that damage, dude. One blast canister, by the way. <laughs> 40 times the damage on a blast canister. Dead. Instantly dead. Bye bye, Alloy Richard Unit. God dang. All right, now we have to deal with the best friend. So I can play a little, a little more aggressive here if I want to, but I don't really want to. 30? No. 30? Oh, chat. Yay or nay, chat. Yay or nay. Are we doing it? Tell me we're doing it. Thoughts on Mayo after this patch? It's significantly easier. I don't know if it's just because I've uh, got more experience from playing with all the artif or multiple artifacts in different scenarios, or if they really buffed it that much. Yay! All right, let's do it, boys. Bing. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Whoa! No! What? What was that? Was that a bomb? That had to been a bomb. Engineer, are you trolling? What was that, dude? All right, now I'm kind of monk a W. Where is the the last one? There it is. All right, here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. A lot of damage. It's a little bit of damage. I'm not gonna take a Relay Knight this time. I'm not gonna take a Relay Knight because if I damage him on accident, he starts aiming at me. I'm not ready. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's a no man. Sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and chin. Let's do one more. Let's go, dude. Okay, all right. Good trades. Good trades. Oh my word! Our right, head stoppers, no fall damage. Let's go, baby. This is some can you play me a memory? Hey, uh, can I? What is this momentum here? What is this momentum here? Oh, nice. There you go. Bye, bye, Umbra multi piece of garbage. You piece of garbage. Umbra multi, more like Umbra dead. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? Brain socks or another Dios? Brain socks or another Dios? I think the right call is brain socks because I get perma uptime strides, basically. I get perma uptime on strides. Brain socks is like perma invincibility, pretty much. Let's get that real quick. Boom! Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's actually busted. Look at that. Perma uptime. We're invincible now. Like, actually invincible. Right, there's no point in looting right now. Let's kill the boss first. Like, literally, we're just invincible now. I just have to spam my shift key. <laughs> that, that's it. I don't have to do anything else here. Look, I can run right through everything. There is that slight downtime. So there's a global cooldown. It's like a point, like point two seconds there. Or I have to not have it up. Oh, my word. No teddy bears? Don't need them. Don't need him. There is a small window where I can still die, so I have to be pretty careful here. But for the most part, I can just float around here. Actually, I think it's better if I don't sprint, because I have more control over where I'm going if I don't sprint here. Whoa, I didn't have it up for a second there. Could have been bad. Easy game, dude. Monsoon all artifacts on, by the way. Oh, mega low. I think we're pretty much good to go here. I'm trolling. I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna get complacent doing this, chat. Doing this for the next, like, 11 stages in a row, 11 or 12 stages, I'm gonna get complacent. I'm gonna die. Just wait. What do I stack now, chat? I don't want more momentum, because more momentum would just mean, uh, well, would mean nothing. I have cap sticky. I have cap stickies on the daggers. Keys. Why would I get? Oh yeah, keys. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, keys. Cause I can't red out every stage. Wait, you guys. You guys are giga brain. You guys are actual. You guys are omega giga brain. Holy crap. Dude, rested keys are 100 percent the right. The momentum recovery here. Like jumping fixes it, but not really. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay. All right. No more distractions. No more distractions. Totally, we're okay. Everything's a-okay here. Right, we're getting at least one red here. Get our Dio's back at the very least. 
Um, also get a hard light afterburner. I'm okay with losing a bunch of greens here. Hard light afterburner for the stacks. Should I get two? You think two hard lights are worth it, chat? Let's get a few more greens here. I can lose a lot of greens. I can lose a lot of uh, white items. And that's exactly why I got my crit. All right, so what did we lose here? We still have all the quells and hopus. We, lose, we lost a lot of that. We lost double bands. All right, let's go. Bop! Oh, that's a pretty good trade. I lost all my hopus, though. All right. Uh, alien? No, alien head's not worth it. Because there's, there's a global cooldown that I have to wait for anyway. So alien head is useless. I have perma all the time with brain socks. Every elite is an enemy. I think another Dios, honestly. I think another Dio. All right, boys. Stage 20 incoming. Wait a second. Should we get another glass? Let's get another glass. Well, why the heck not? Let's just double our damage again. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Also, 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 we're getting a B the filthy. <laughs> you know why we're getting a beads of filthy jet? Do you want to know why? Because we're going to kill this scout. Can we rough the enemies of Tesla coils? Not really. Because they're not staying alive very long. And I'm just keeping my distance. So it wouldn't be that bad. Do we get a red? Let's go, dude. All right. What's that going to be? What is that going to be? Hey, you guys are so five head. We're going to get a red like every stage now. That's so five head. Mm. What do we get? Another Dio's? I already have two Dio's. I have two safety nets right now. Uh, don't need the other pair of daggers because they already kill everything in one hit. Clover, Clover, nah, Clover doesn't matter. I think, honestly, dude, another Dios. I think another Dios. That's plan. That's a good idea, dude. Hook? I could get a hook, but I really don't need the proc chains. I really don't. I think, honestly, just Dios. I think it's just Dios every single time now, chat. I don't, like, look at the damage I'm dealing. I, I'm dealing 100-something K with the bounce of the poison. That's 100% damage. Like, the, the damage value on this ability right here, Acid Poison, that's 100% damage every time it bounces. It's dealing, like, 100K. I don't think I need additional damage. It's not there, Mr. Dreamer. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Aurelia Knight. Bye-bye. I see you later. Hundred children. It's a great idea. And we got Artificer. Not bad. Imp Overlords. The big jungles. Pleases in here, boys. Come on. Get those Pepe pleases in here. I'm perma banning everybody on the stream right here, right now. If you do not Pepe please. Right now. Such a good thing. Coming with 100 bits. You do better. You better do it, Mr. Streamer. I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll do it. There's little to no risk here. Classically, they think with 100 bits. We're doing it. 100%. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. God, I love the vocals so much. Dude. I love them. Tito Banditos coming in with the prime sub. Thank you for Tito Banditos. Please enjoy with the prime. The hot. The freshest. Another red. Let's go, dude! Another one! Oh my word! I didn't mean to take a shower. <laughs> well, there was another red. Tito Bandito, thank you, dude. Wait, lockbox! Let's go! Lockbox! <laughs> Actually throwing for content, dude. Throwing for content. There it is. Alright, it's back. Alright, chat, here we go. Give me a red. Come on. Let's go! Another teddy bear. Such a good song, man. I love it. Okay, here we go. 
Final question of the stream, boys. Final question of the stream. Oh my god. Oh, Final question of the stream. Umbra? Ooh, Umbra with the Shrine of Order. Umbra with the Shrine of Order. <laughs> Did we do it? Umbra with the Shrine of Order. Oh. All right, let's do it. I'm turning music back up. It's going to be the battle of a century. Here we go, boys. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, seven stacks of visions. <laughs> Chat. All right, we're going to wait here. We're going to wait here for these. Watch this. Watch this, Chad. You ready for this? You guys aren't ready for this. This is the hundredth bug. You ready for this? Oh my god. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. I didn't expect it to do a freaking recoil thing. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, let's try and spam all of them real quick. Alright, here we go. Fastest clicker in the West. Go! Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is amazing. All right, boys, that's it. Mayo challenge is done. The Mayo challenge is done. We don't need the beats. We don't need the beats yet. Doesn't matter. We don't need the beads. What's the bug? Uh, you get as many ballista shots as you have visions of heresy stacks. That is the bug. Holy crap, man. 84 shots. Here we go. Target acquired. I'm going to control the recoil this time. Watch this. Ooh, my, what the heck? Okay, maybe not. I'm going to try and control it, chat. Hold on. Try one more time. I'm going to try it this time. Holy crap. That is ridiculous. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Here we go. I don't know how long the duration is. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I can't fall off. If I fall off, I'm dead. I actually can't fall here. This is not good. I think I have to do that. No, no, no. I can do this. I can do this. 107 HP. Dude, that's the most HP I've ever had. Fall damage. I know, I know, I know. All right, I'm going to control it right here. Right in the middle. Right through this circle. You ready for this? Ready for this, chat? I'm going to start down. Oh, ah! <laughs> that's not possible. That's not possible. Holy crap, that is ridiculous. It just goes all over the place. There's no predicting that. <laughs> oh, at the base, you're right. Chat, I, li I literally could have done that. Well, all right, I'm doing it this time. Last time right here. Hold it. Hold it. Ah! Hey, there's no predicting. It just goes. That is crazy. All right, boys. That's all she wrote, baby. Mayo challenge is done. 20 stages. All right, next challenge is going to be no lunar coins. Mayo challenge without spending lunar coins. That's the real challenge. Maybe even no command. Maybe not even a command artifact. Who knows? All right, well, instead of 15 coins, I get five coins. Not a big deal. That's it, boys. How much damage do we do? One billion damage. You can't see? Oh, you can't see that? Oh, hold on. There you go, chat. There you go, chat. Can you see this now? Can you see it now? That's 1.8 billion damage. Test me again. Test me again, boys. All right, bye. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by.